Hello everybody. Today I am making up some cinnamon spice soap. So here the cook is already done and I'm just mixing in my extras. So this is cinnamon leaf oil, ginger oil, and clove oil. Now I set my oil in uh, kaolin clay. So for me this seems to help the scent to stay longer in my soap. So I'm going to mix this in. Now I'm not adding my goat milk yet because I want to mix the scent in. Then I'm going to add the approximate amount that I want to add into my colorant. And today my colorant is going to be some uh, raspberry juice, so to speak, uh, raspberries that I had cooked up a while back. And I wanted to try and see what the color would end up being like if I were to use raspberries. So I'm gonna take out, this is about a tablespoon of the juice. So I'm gonna take out some of my soap and put it in there. Um, now I just didn't wanna add any more liquid to the liquid of the berry juice. So I will take this and I will give it a good mix and see how it changes. So I keep the other cover just to keep it warm so it doesn't start hardening up too fast. And I also like the metal bowls because the metal bowls heat up and help keep the heat in the soap longer. So you can see almost automatically it starts turning this really dark purple color, which I wasn't expecting. I wasn't really expecting it to stay red, but I wasn't expecting it to go this color. I was thinking more brown. So this is actually pretty interesting. So after I get this all mixed up, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my goat's milk and my honey to my main body of my soap, give it a mix, but oh yes, that's right, I put this in the bottom. If I were going to do this again, I would take out a little bit more soap because I like a little bit more contrast between the light and the dark, but um, yeah, it turned out to be an interesting color and we'll see if it changes anymore. After, um, after it cools and hardens. So yes, I'm just gonna finish mixing and then add it all together and let it set to cool. Now what I sprinkled on the top was beetroot powder, just to give it a little bit of a little dazzle on the top. <laughs> so this is the evening, and we're going to take it out of the mold, and we're going to give it its first cut to see exactly if the color changed. I don't really expect the color to have changed very much, um, but yeah, we'll see. It's kind of an interesting color. It pretty much looks the same in real life as it does right here. So it's sort of kind of a purple color, but um, I guess maybe a little gray too. And the cinnamon oil and, and whatnot that I used in there will cause the soap to yellow a little bit more. And it actually, it smells like I don't know if you've ever had them or not, but the hot lips, the cinnamon hot lips, it smells just like that. Like, I want to eat this soap, even though I know it would taste absolutely horrible, but it smells like hot lips. It smells so good. So, here's the first cut. I really like this soap cutter. It cuts really nice and I just like being able to have the even bars of soap now and I know they're generally all gone away the same and they're not gonna be super wonky when they dry and, and whatnot. So I do really like this cutter. Give it a cut cut. Apparently very, very slowly. <laughs> So, yeah, still kind of purple. I was expecting brown, like very, very brown. So at least I got a different color, kind of grayish purple. So I think it looks pretty neat. Um, I probably will do it again, but the design will more than likely be different. So enjoy the rest of the cut.
So this is the next day. I wanted to see if there was much of a color difference. And I also wanted to give a tip on what I do with my soap after it's been cut is I will wet it and then let it dry and it gives it a little bit of a sheen to it. So this one has been wet and dry now and the other one was not wetted. So I just kind of wanted to show you the difference and it just makes it look shiny. It just makes it look kind of pretty. But the uh, color didn't change much overnight. It will change a little bit more over time because of that I find with the cinnamon oil and whatnot and it does cause it to brown a little bit more, which is fine. It still looks pretty and it kind of gives it more of that cinnamon effect anyway. And like I said, it smells absolutely delicious. I tell ya, hot lips. I love it. Uh, but yeah, so I do like a little bit of sheen. I think it turned out nice. If I do do it again, I will add more color.